start this song out, he does um, a couple little licks before he gets into like the main groove of the song. So uh, the beginning sounds like this. Okay, so that's the beginning part right there. It might not be exactly note for note, but um, it's it's pretty close though. Okay, so the first little lick goes like this. Okay, so again, you're hitting the open A string every time with every note. So it's fifth fret on the high E. And you're gonna do a pull off on the eighth fret B string land on the 7th fret G string, so it's... And that's just 5th, then hammer onto the 7th, then 5th again, so it's... Then you're gonna hammer on onto the 7th fret on the D string, so it's from the beginning. do two hammer rounds right there okay so that's the first one then he goes like this okay so that one is again open A and then you're gonna do a really quick pull off on the uh, eighth fret again on the B string like that then fifth then hammer on to seventh so it's then two on the fifth, and then like six on the uh, seventh fret D. So the first two together looks like this. Okay, then gonna do the 8th fret B string you're gonna hit that with the open A still again so you're gonna hit it and then hold it for a second then do a pull off to the 7th fret G that's the last one so it's pull off do the hammer on and then hammer on to the 7th fret once and then just hit it again to end it so it's like that okay so then after that he does the main riff of the song and he does it three times before the drums kick in um, so it's gonna sound like this Okay, so the way to play this riff, you pretty much are going to have to keep this thumb thumping the whole time on the A string. Okay, you see my thumb, how it doesn't stop moving the whole time. So the way to start it out, you're gonna be fifth fret on the B string. You're gonna pluck it with the A string, the open A string, and the fifth B. Okay? Then you're gonna hit the seventh fret G string without hitting the note. Then you go to the fifth fret G string and you hit the A. Okay? Then you hit the 7th fret D string without the A. Then you pluck the A, open A in the 5th fret on G and hammer onto the 7th. Okay. Then you hit the open A by itself. Then you pluck 5th fret G in the open A.
land on the seventh fret D with the pluck with the with the A still. Then you do a hammer on what and pluck again. You pluck it on the fifth and then hammer on to the seventh. So really slow. It looks like this. So you gotta kind of practice that with keeping that that thumb going the whole time. So uh, take some practice. It's not it's it's not an easy thing to do to to keep that in in time the whole time. But uh, but you'll get it down. Okay, then he stops there, lets that note ring out, and then he does like a muted slap on the strings. Then that's when the drum beat comes in. And pretty much he's doing the same thing, might be like a little bit faster, but it's same thing, and he kind of throws in a few licks, so he does it the first time the same. That's a little lick he throws in on the second time, so so that little look is, you're gonna do the beginning part the same. Then it's gonna be the fifth fret high E. So it's fifth fret high E, then it's a flick off on the eighth fret B. And then it's gonna be a bend up on the seventh fret G string, pull off and land on the 7th fret D string. And then it goes right back into it again. Okay, then he gets into the part where he starts singing, and he's playing notes, um, you know, while he's singing, so it's, this is what he does first. Okay, so that's gonna be plucked open A again and the D string on the seventh. Pluck fifth fret. G and the open A, and then seventh fret D or uh, G. They're all plucks, all three of them. Do that twice on the uh, fifth, uh, sorry, seventh fret G. Then you do an open A. So it's pluck on the 7th fret G, open A, pluck, open A, pluck again three times. Then that main riff again, okay? And I give it a little bit of vibrato on that 7th uh, fret G, you don't have to though, either way. Second time he goes, same thing. Same three plucks. Seventh fret D, fifth fret G, seventh fret G. Hit that twice. Open A. And you pull off and land on the seventh fret D string. So all together from, from the beginning of that vocal part. Does it twice. Okay. The 
does that twice. And then he's going to um, come up the neck a little bit, and he does this riff. So that's that little riff. So you're going to be sliding from the 7th fret of the G to the 9th. And you're going to do a pluck with the A string again. Then you hit open. I'm sorry. Then you hit the 8th uh, fret on the B string. I use my middle finger right here. So you slide with your ring. And then middle, f or middle finger on the 8th fret B. And you just hit that by itself, not a pluck. Okay, so you pluck and you slide. You hit the 8 by your, by itself on the B, and then you hit the open A, so it's... Okay, so then you hit the 9th fret D by itself. Then you pluck the B and the open A, and your B is still on the 8th fret uh, B string. Okay, so it's slowly, it looks like this. pluck and hammer on to the uh, 10th fret on the B string. Drums on the A. So that's eight high E with a pluck, and then ten B pluck, and then three more sh uh, strums on the A. So yeah, the A is still not stopping the whole time. So it's then it's gonna be. 10th fret on the B, pluck again, 8th fret on the high E, okay then you're going to do a pull off from the 11 to the 10 to the 8 on the high E, land on the Ten again on the B. So you land on the ten on the B, then you're gonna roll your finger over and hit the ten on the high E. Okay, then it's so it's so you're plucking on the eight on the high E. Hit the 10 on the B, and then pluck again on the high E, A, and open A. Then you pluck on the 10th fret B and the open A. Sorry guys, I know this is a lot I'm going through, but just, you know, rewind it if you need to, and, you know, stop it and everything. So this is um, the whole lick so far. Okay, then it's then you plug again on the eighth fret high E in the open A. Then you just a couple more A's. Then you uh, uh, slide back down the neck from the ninth fret to the seventh on the G. While you pluck with the A. Then you do a pull off and land on the seventh fret on the D. right back into the main riff again so slowly this is how it looks
another lick that he does. So you're going to uh, bar the uh, G and B string on the 5th, slide it to the 7th. So you're going to pluck both of those and pluck the open A. So you slide, hit the open A, then you go back to the 5th fret on those two strings and pluck. So then another, um, when he starts singing again, he does, he's, you know, mimicking his voice with the notes and it's gonna sound like this. So what that is, is, again, you're going to be plucking every time. So it's 7 on the D, 5 on the G, 7 on the G, and then 8 on the B. And you hold that for a second. You hit the open A while you're holding it. And then land on the 7th fret G. riff then same start instead of holding it there you hit it you pluck it with the 8 on the B and then you go to the 8 on the f or I'm sorry the B on the 5th okay then you go to the 7 on the G 7 on the 5th I'm sorry 7 on the G 5th uh, on the G You go to seven five on the G while you're plucking. So it's seven five, then seven again, pull off to the seven on the D. So it's you hit that twice on the D. Okay. Alright guys, so the next like little solo part that he does then uh, sounds like this. Okay, so the way to play that is you're going to slide again from the 7th to the 9th on the G. So it's hit the 8 on the B again by itself. I'm using my middle finger again here. So you hit the, the 8 by itself, then you hit the A open by itself. Then you pluck the open A and the 8. So it's... open A like six times then you do the same thing but then when you pluck you slide back down to the seventh fret on the G then open A's again so when you do it this time you hammer on from the eighth to the tenth on the B then it's the same thing here. Go back down. And then he does this little thing where he slides from the... You pluck the open A and the 5th on the G, and you slide to the ninth and back. You gotta get an open A in there too. So it's... 
7 on the G, 5th on the G, open G, and then 7th on the D. And then back into the riff again. So the last part, um, he's going to do that thing again that I showed you in the beginning where it sounds like this. I showed you how to do all the way up to that part, so then he's gonna go, you're gonna pluck on the, what is that, the 15th fret, high E, and the open A. So it's pluck, and then open A. Then you're gonna hit the 12th fret on the high E by itself, then pluck again, with the, or not pluck, just open A by itself, so it's. Pluck here on the 15, open A, 12 on the high E, open A again. Then you're going to pluck here on the 10th fret on the high E. Okay, so you pluck on the 10th, then you pluck again on the 8th fret, both on the high E. Okay, so then you hit the 10 on the high E by itself. And then you hit the open A, so it's pluck again on the 8 E, high E. And then you land on the 10 B with the pluck, with the A. Okay, so it's slow, it's... Okay, then let's go back here again. Do that twice, and it's okay. So the last time you go instead of landing on the B on the tenth, you land on the high E. So it's then you slide to the seventeenth, and I just kind of pluck and slide it down back to the main riff again. So it sounds like this. Alright, cool guys, so that's all the main parts of the song. Uh, I, hope it, I hope I broke it down well enough for you to understand um, how to do it. It's a fun song to play, and I will see you guys next time. And if, uh, if you guys haven't subscribed yet, please do for more lessons and tutorials coming up. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.